term. We begin with a story you'll see only on five. We have exclusive surveillance footage of a 7-Eleven being robbed overnight. And it's one of four convenience stores held up at gunpoint in that same area. Let's go to Chris Wolf. He's live in East Hollywood. He's got that surveillance footage for us. Chris. Rick and Kareen, the man who owns two of the 7-Eleven convenience stores, hit late last night or early this morning, did speak with us, although he did not want to go on camera. He tells me he is disgusted with the rise in crime and the state of society after 12 years in business in this area. He did share his security footage exclusively with us, and it does offer solid images of these two culprits, although they were wearing hoodies and masks. So take a look. At least one was armed with a handgun. The first robber was wearing a gray hoodie and walked into the store at about 12.20 a.m. this morning. That is located on Beverly Boulevard, where we are in East Hollywood. That man walked around pretending to be shopping, waiting for other customers to leave. Then he made his move, telling the clerks he had a gun so they wouldn't put up a fight. He nonchalantly walked behind the counter, helping himself to cartons of cigarettes, cigars, various tobacco products. He grabs a garbage bag out of a bin to use to collect the loot. He calmly continues grabbing items off the shelves and then leaves. And that's when his accomplice in a black hoodie runs in with handgun extended, chasing the clerks away before he jumps over the counter and yanks the cash drawers from the registers. The violent crime was captured by multiple security cameras and from various angles. Victims believe the same two criminals hit three other convenience stores in the Hollywood area within a few hours, brandishing at least one handgun and demanding cash or tobacco products or both. The manager we spoke with today says the intruders made off with a significant amount of cash and he's now planning to boost safety measures at his convenience stores, including closing earlier in the evening. Anyone with information or evidence should contact the LAPD. We will have much more on this developing story coming up in the next hour. For now, reporting live in East Hollywood, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. All right, Chris, thank you.